This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freaking.com. Are you on this committee? I am. Oh, if I might ask, uh, how close are you guys to actually making a preference for, for veterans in, in government hiring? I think at this point we're still gathering information from the various state agencies. Uh, there certainly is a state policy in effect, but uh, the committee is, is looking at it in depth. But we've really just started. Do, do you think, uh, what would you say are the chances that there will be a, a, an increased preference for, for veterans in the future? I think it's too early to tell. I see. Is there, are there any are you doing anything? Is anyone else doing anything to try and make sure that, I mean, I assume you know, there are a lot of veterans who serve selflessly, but there are many others these days who are war criminals. Are you doing anything to make sure we don't have more war criminals in government? I don't think we've gotten that far either. All right. The last thing we need are war criminals in government. That's true. Well, they all come from the veteran class, unfortunately. Well, most. I think we have uh, criminals from around society, not just the veterans. Correct. And the majority of them I think go in the military and learn discipline and learn respect. It certainly used to be that way. Maybe it still is. It's hard to say. Well, matter of opinion. All right. Uh, as, as somebody that's ex-Navy and uh, I have a family, a nephew that was killed in Afghanistan, uh, I think the young men and women going in today are every bit as brave as they were uh, throughout oh, history. They're this definitely country. courageous. Yes, they that's are. That's not the concern. Yes, <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Are you folks on the committee? No. Are you here to lobby the committee in one direction or another? I'm here to testify for the committee. Pardon? I'm here to testify before the committee. Oh, I see. In favor or against the preference? Or? In favor. Uh, whose organization do you represent, if I might ask? Employment Security. Okay. Uh, do you have any concerns about the possibility that, I mean, a lot of veterans these days, and they used to serve very valiantly and uh, very selflessly, and some of them still do, but there are a lot of war criminals now in the veteran community. Uh, are you can, are you, what, what steps do you favor to keep war criminals out of the government? What steps, I'm sorry? What steps do you favor to keep war criminals out of the government? I, I don't know anything about what you're speaking about. You don't so know about really, war crimes? I, I couldn't talk to you. I couldn't address that with you. But you're going you're gonna to advocate for putting more veterans in government? Mm -hmm. Correct. Without discrimination between criminals and non-criminals? Could I have your name? Hi, Senator. How are you? Question. Sure. Do you favor giving veterans a preference in hiring for government? Um, I think that we have a policy that's been in place for a long period of time. Yes. Should it be? I think so, yes. Well, is there any step or any measure in place to make sure, I mean, a lot of veterans have served selflessly, but a lot of veterans these days are actually war criminals. Is there a step or anything that you do to make sure they don't get in the government? I think that, that if, a, if, a man, if a man, woman has uh, agreed to serve the country, we should uh, award them with a preference in terms of a job, particularly in the public sector. But you've got good veterans and you've got evil veterans. Are well, you sure you yeah, should? We have good people and evil people too. Yeah. And it goes across the board. I think if a person is evil, that'll come out in the wash and uh, it'll take care of itself. Evil people don't get in the government? Excuse me? Evil people don't get in the government? I didn't say that. <laughs> There's a lot of evil people outside of government. Yeah, that's true, too. All right, thanks, Senator. Always ready to answer. Hi. How are you doing? All right, well, I'm turning into a one-trick pony in that, in that hearing. I can only think of that one question to ask. So I'm going to head back to another hearing. You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details visit freekeen.com.